morning we're going to start with our reading lesson today and we're going to start with some word work today okay so i'm going to use my whiteboard and this marker and we're going to work on changing the sounds in a word to make a new word okay so if i have the word d -og, d -og, i'm going to change the d to ol, and then I have ol og, which is log. Okay, and if I have the word k, at, cat, and I change the k to b, then I have the word bat, b at. Okay. And if I start with the word d, ad, dad, and I change the first d to s, then it becomes sad. Okay, let's do this word. Er, at okay rat if i change the first sound in r rat the er to mm, then it becomes m mm, at mat okay let's do s ad sad Let's change the first s to er, er, ad, er, ad, rad, okay? And let's do f, e, sh. When s and h are together, they go sh, okay? So we have f, e, sh, fish. If I change the f, to d, it becomes d ish, dish. Okay, so that's a little bit of some word work. Okay, and we'll keep working on that. That's something brand new. Now I'm going to read you a new story today. Well, first I'm going to give you a new rhyme. Okay, this is called Little Snowman. I'm a little snowman, round and fat. Here are my mittens. Here is my hat. Add a little scarf and a carrot nose. I stand tall when the cold wind blows. Okay. So there's some rhyming words in there. We have fat and hat. And I think that's it. Okay. So that is our new poem for the week. I'm a little snowman, round and fat. Here are my mittens, here is my hat. Add a little scarf and a carrot nose. I stand tall when the cold wind blows. Okay, and we're gonna read one of my, I really like this story. This is called The Snowy Day. Okay, this is by Ezra Jack Keats. Okay, and I'm gonna try to tip my camera a little bit more so you can see a little bit better. All right. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. And we were really lucky and got some nice snow on Christmas Eve, didn't we, that covered everything. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. I don't know if you can see that, see his footprints. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Okay, so 
What do you think he could have found that he was making this third track with? Let's see. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. Hmm. He thought it would be fun to join the bo big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. Yeah, sometimes it hurts when you get hit by those snowballs. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great tall, big mountain, heapy mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He, he picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. Okay, so he put that snowball in his pocket and he thinks it's going to be there tomorrow. Do you think it's going to be there tomorrow? Okay, he told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet sock. And he thought about, and he thought and thought and thought about them. He's taking a nice warm bath. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friends from across the hall, and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. Okay, the end. All right, so you have a paper in your packet that looks like this. Okay, it says capture this and that. And what you're gonna do is you're going to draw what the snowball looked like outside in this picture. Okay, the snowball that Peter was gonna put in his pocket, remember? Okay, so draw what it looked like outside and then draw what it looked like inside because what happened to it once it was inside? Okay, it melted, right? So you could just draw a puddle of water down here, okay? And when it was outside, it looked like a snowball. Okay, so draw what it looked like outside and then what it looked like once it was inside. All right, and that is, um, oh, I need to tell you what your new sight words are. Okay, so your new sight words for this week are an, an, okay, I want to eat an apple. Okay, that's the word an. And this word is my. Okay, my, so my and Anne, and I'm going to try to find some sight word songs and put those on the page for you, okay? So I will see some of you back here in just a little bit, and some of you I will see tomorrow. So have a great day, and thank you.